Good day to you all. This is Ola Komi Amo Unidundu, you know, reaching out to you again. Being the day three on my series called Fathering. You know, just a dialogue session to discuss about those qualities that will help us to attain exceptional fathering. As I've said earlier on, day one, day two, I'm not um, vouching that uh, I'm yet there as an exceptional father. But these are some timeless, scriptural-based principles to become that great father. I have seen, based on my experience, that wherever I fail to follow these principles, I get the repercussion, the consequences, and I've learned from this. But I'm striving just like many of you are striving. So let us learn together. And in this particular session, you know, I've said that you can, I want to make it more of a dialogue session where you can post your comments and we will answer live. Likewise, you, know, you can, you know, contact me on, on Twitter at Olakomiamo. Please, if you do that, just put hashtag fathering at Olakomiamo on Twitter. Then those who want to phone in uh, via the GSM line, please, my phone number remains plus 234. 802-836-9033. Again, if you want to phone, phone in so we can answer live. The phone number is plus 234. That's Nigeria. 802-836-9033. 802-836-9033. You know, Put the Nigerian code plus 234 in the front, and the Lord bless you. So, we will uh, quickly look at one or two things this uh, afternoon on uh, fathering. This is the third day. We have, uh, we have five more days to go, you know, plus today. So, after today, we have just have four more days to go. Uh, as a recap, the major takeout from day one and day two teachings on fathering. Is the fact that the quality of your fatherhood is directly proportional to your relationship with the Heavenly Father. That was what we learned in day one. That is, the quality of your relationship with the Heavenly Father impacts directly on the quality of your fatherhood here on earth. And that's why, you know, God puts parents there as the image of himself. Particularly the father in the house, as the image of the Father God. And we see that these affect also how our children relate to the Father God based on what they see in the Father, based on how the Father even, even, even parents the children. It gives them a perception, you know, a conception of, 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 of the Father God and, and influences also the relationship of these children. So I'm saying here, please be very careful, you know, the way you father your children because it gives them a concept about the unseen God. Day two, we learned also that another foundation for exceptional father is absolute submission to God's leadership. That great fathers are great, great followers. They've, they've learned to follow God, and so you know, it, it rubs up on them. And they imbibe the principles of great fatherhood that they've learned from God. And the second thing also we learned on day two you know, is that to be a great father, you must you know, quit being, being, a, being a boy. You must be a man, you know, you must be a man, you know, in decision making, you know, and not someone who uh, takes all the time in life to make decisions, you know, better make a decision and, uh, uh, you know, uh, and uh, tweak as you go, all right? You know, must be a man, you know, and so these are the three things you've learned so far. And uh, as I've said earlier on, uh, don't forget to please like our page. Don't forget to share with friends as you listen in. And likewise, you know, phone in, you know, 0802-836-9033 for Nigeria line. But if you are phoning outside Nigeria, just put plus 234, you know, to connect in. And the Lord bless you. All right. Uh, our, 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 I will post my email, you know, if you want to email me so, I, so that you can get our free PDF book, Repentance in the Grave Possibility, you know, uh, later on. So we'll look at two major things today. Great. Great. Two major things. 
we look at the quality of selflessness and the quality of being daring, never giving up. These are the two qualities we look at as other foundational qualities for great fathers. The quality of being self, selfless. Don't forget our anchor scripture still remains. Genesis chapter 18 verse 19. God said of Abraham, he says, I know him that he will command his children and his household after him and they will keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment. And the pose and question we are asking is, can God say this of you and me? And so our, our strive, our goal, what we are pushing for is that we want to learn the principles that will make God to vouch for you, for us, and to rely so much on us as people dependable, even to, to pass over the baton to generations coming. So, you know, people will raise up godly seeds for him, who will execute his agenda here on earth. We've said one of the primary reasons why God is looking for such fathers is that he wants his kingdom to come on earth. He wants his will to be done here on earth. But that can never be done unless we find men stand up as fathers who will lead their children as models and as examples in the way of the Lord. And uh, so we will look at this, you know, uh, two qualities today, selflessness and uh, the quality, you know, uh, the quality of selflessness, one, and I said the quality of being daring and never giving up. Uh, let's look at what Abraham did that, you know, made him to be selfless, you know, as, as we say. I want us to look at Genesis. You know, I will, I will, I will check uh, on, on Genesis. We will look at chapter 18 again. Genesis 18. And we'll look at verse 22 to 23. Genesis 18, 22 to 23. Now, the two men, angelic beings, turned away from there and went towards Sodom. But Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Verse 23. Abraham approached the Lord and said, Will you really sweep away the righteous, those who do right with the wicked, those, those who do evil? What did we see here? Three visitors came to uh, visit Abraham in his tent. One of them was the Lord God Almighty himself, uh, you know, appearing as a man. Uh, he came with two angels, you know, uh, and they, they, they were on a mission to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of the grievous sin, you know, of idol worship, of homosexuality, of, of, of lesbianism, uh, gay, and, and, uh, and all, all things that God says, you know, people should not do. They, you know, these people, we are in, in, in total rebellion against God. And God, you know, wanted to show an example to those of us upon whom the ends of the earth now, you know, has come, that he detests such things. So he came down physically as a man to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But he made even uh, the tent of Abraham to be a trophy where I will pass through. And so while, while coming, he visited, you know, uh, Abraham, Abraham, you know, uh, did hospitality to him. And while going, you know, uh, Abraham, you know, sort of stood in between death and life, stood in between God and Sodom that was to be destroyed. You know, he took responsibility. He laid his life on the line. You know, uh, you know, it's just as if two mighty people are fighting and you stood in between even him to, 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 uh, to say, no, no, they should, you know, they should stop the fight. You know, you, you can go with bruises and sometimes you, you, it costs your life. That was exactly what intercession, that is exactly what intercession is. And that's what Abraham did. Abraham showed selflessness. Abraham laid his life on the line by taking responsibility for his family. Don't forget Lot was his nephew. And based on the time and season in which they lived, his nephew represented part of his family, you know, in his extended family. Indeed, Lot was living in his tent before. And, and so here we learned that Abraham displayed selflessness as an example of exceptional fathers, laying down his life. And I know that out there also, great fathers will, will understand and empathize with me what I'm saying. You know, you are often, you, you, you can recount how much do you spend from your salary 
great fathers we know that look you you hardly spend much from your salary most of it is consumed by your family and, and other people who rely on you 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 hardly spend up to 10 percent of your salary upon yourself you know uh, you, you 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 will rather go hungry you either go fasting so that your children your family may be well fed may be well clothed may be well looked after you know great fathers we go ex extra mile to do everything just like the father god went extra mile to save even, even the perishing mankind bible says while we were yet sinners christ died for the ungodly god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son the only thing he had everything that summarized god god gave that he may save man this is this is what great father was all about selflessness love without dissimulation love even that is that is so deep that that is beyond even even uh, 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 estimation of of of, of the emotion it's, it's it's a love that's not just emotional it's a love that's intentional it's a love that is total it is selfless abraham could have cost himself his life by standing between god and sodom but he knew that you know as an example of a great father he had to do that he laid his life on the line by taking responsibility for his family and that's my charge and my question to you my audience are you displaying selfishness or selflessness just look at your budget and your money are you someone who cares more about partying care more about even the asset fiscal assets you you, you enjoy in, for yourself just like one of our yoruba nigerian you know uh par, par, parable says you know a translated in this way it says before a child you know consume 20 i will consume 30. that is that is wickedness the bible says great fathers who are just and righteous they leave inheritance for children's children great fathers even, even do not you know uh, uh de depend and rely even on on children to feed them they do extra much even to, to ensure that even that's a benefit if children feel them they do extra much to leave things for for their children we learned this from, from abraham also because of his selflessness he left great wealth for isaac the covenant child he left great wealth for them and 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 and, uh, and we saw that that also the example of selflessness was in this episode where he stood in between the lord and sodom which was to be destroyed he interceded he interceded for his nephew interceded for uh, his nephew lot and, and and his family in sodom and he interceded for the whole nation of sodom and gomorrah you know in that verse we have read genesis chapter 18 read, reading from verse 22 downwards abraham stood in between the living god and the dead already judged nation of, of, of sodom so the first thing we learn today is great fathers are selfless they go extra mile to provide for their own household it is therefore not surprising that the bible says even, even a, a man that cannot provide or does not provide for his household is worse than an infidel he's saying he's, he's a worthless father that's what the bible is saying a man that will not go extra mile we have men today who will sit at home, legs, you know, in legs, you know, on, on chairs and table, watching DSTV where their their wives are out there, even in working their ass out. Sorry for my language. You know, that's not an example of great fatherhood. Great fathers provide for their own household. Don't forget, you know, we said yesterday that the the, the root word for father or fatherhood in the Hebrew language means the same thing as source provider and that's why you know also fatherhood is linked to husband you know which is the root word from which husbandry you know is taken care of you are to to tend to rear to keep to to be the source of provision to your household so great fathers are selfless in doing this i'm not saying that there may be situations you know, where fathers you know for no uh, reason of their own cannot for a short while provide for their household and and the woman also will come in to help and, in, and and take over you know as breadwinners as at such times yes there can be but it should not be for long it should not be you know a, you know a season as in as we have now in the world where we have gigolos young men who are who are worthless who are depending on, on rich women women even to take care you know of, of them and, and to flee such women this is not god's will for for men men who will be great fathers are great providers and they do this because of selflessness you must you must develop this selfless spirit so if you are you are still selfish you must ask for for forgiveness from god you know you must you, you know uh, 
uh, you must also not think of revenging you know for past art done you by people don't forget abraham did not think of the past art done to him by his nephew lot he went all the way he was selfless you know he sought for the good of of, of lot even though lot was unaware of what he was doing great fathers even will be on their knees praying not only for their own families but for families extended and for, and for nations when while lot did not know that abraham was interceding for him abraham was there praying abraham was there interceding so it's not a, a you know a, a, something that 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 is a, a a show off it's something that you take as an obligation intentionally deliberately great fathers are selfless selfless i will ask you this question can these attributes selflessness take responsibility for your family for giving revenge so that you know you know, you know which is part of selflessness can these attributes seeking for the good of those even who have hurt you and, and and bringing them under your wings again as the benevolent father can these attributes be said of you can this be rightly imputed to you or are, are you rather the opposite if you are the opposite you have to repent where you are ask god in the name of jesus to forgive you and ask him now that i want to be that great example of a father the second thing very quickly so that we will entertain question is that great fathers are daring and they never give up abraham was not afraid to venture into the unknown and chart visionary curses once it is god that was needed abraham was not afraid to venture into the unknown he was not afraid to, to, to chart visionary courses. Once it is God, the Father, that is leading. He took step after God the Father. And that was what made him to be a great and exceptional father. What am I saying? When you look at Genesis chapter 12, verse, verse 14. Very quickly. Genesis 12, verse 14. The Bible says concerning Abraham there. I will read here. Please, if you have your Bibles, open with me, Genesis 12, verse 14. Genesis 12, verse 1 and, uh, sorry, verse 1 and verse 4. Now in Aaron, the Lord said unto Abraham, Go away from your country, from your relatives, from your father's house, to the land which I will show you, <laughs> verse 4. So Abraham departed in faithful obedience, as the Lord had directed him. And Lot, his nephew, left with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Aram. What are we saying? Great fathers are daring in the face you know, of, of, of uh, situations that, 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 that looks impossible. They are daring. In the face of difficulty, they show example of fortitude, of strength. And so their families can rely upon them. They are not lily livered. You know, they are daring and they never give up. You know, God told him, leave your family. Leave your comfort zone. You know, don't forget in the time in which Abraham was living, the king's men, the family, you know, they, they represented comfort zone because there were, you know, a, a lot of enemy tribes around. But Abraham did something. He, he showed that in the face of, of, of confronting situation, he could stand his ground as a man, not a boy. He was daring. If you want to be a father, you must understand. You, 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 you must quit running from situations. You face them headlong. You eat that frog, that thing that, 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 that is giant to your family. Stand, stand for it, even if it will be you know, at the cost of your life. Great fathers are great husbands. And the Bible says about great husbands also, that they should love their wives as Christ loved the church, even to the point of laying down their lives. Meaning that, look, even though this is difficult, you have to turn to God to help you. They are daring. They are daring. Once it is God leading, you know, they, they go for it. They are bold. They are daring. They have the, and, and these are the qualities of, of a father figure. They, you know, they, they are, their household and their families can rely upon them. Can rely upon them. So, you know, uh, and, and tap into the mold of their character and believe in their vision. If you're not daring, you know, it will be difficult to believe in your vision. It will be difficult for people to rely upon you. And, and you, you learn that Isaac, Jacob, the patriarchs, you know, the, the children that came after Abraham, and even the entire Israelites, 
you know, they pursued after the God-given vision that God gave to Abraham because they showed, they learned the example of being daring even, even from, 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 from Abraham, their, their grandfather. And so this is a poser to you. Are you often driven to complacency? Do you quickly give up? If you quickly give up, these are not exceptional qualities of great fathers. Bible says, he that endures to the end shall be saved. Enduring to the end ha, is, the great, is, is one of the great qualities of, of great fathers. Don't easily give up on your dreams. Year one, you tried it. Year two, you tried it. Year three, you tried it. And so you, you, you raise up your hands in surrender uh, uh, and say, look, maybe it's not God's will. Who told you? Has God told you otherwise? If God has not told you otherwise, keep doing it until you get the result. Someone says, you know, push, pray until something happens. Also, act until something happens. Don't give up. Don't be complacent. Bible says the righteous man falls seven times, but yet he stands up again. Stand up again. Failure is not being down. Failure is remaining down and not standing up again. Great fathers are not given to failures. Great fathers understand that you know to, to fall down once is, is, is a learning point and encouragement. You dare even to do it again. They are daring and they never give up. For their family's sake, for their generational sake, for their descendants' sake. You've tried, you've tried, you've tried in that business. You've tried in that effort. You've tried again. You, you know, you've prayed for that son. You've prayed for that daughter that God will change him. But it, it seems, you know, uh, the negative it, it, it is, is, is repeating itself. Don't give up until some people pray, counsel, you know, commit in, 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 uh, uh, to, to, to other forms of discipline until something positive happens. Don't give up. Don't give up. So, uh, I, I, I'm saying your descendants after you will, will also learn to take the easy way out of all situations if you are complacent and usually give up. Because your children look at your example. Your children are seeing you even as a model, a mold. Don't forget fathers are sauce. Like the baking pan, they are the mold for their, their future generation. So you, you, you mold their character, you mold their perception to life. When they see you quickly giving up, don't give up. Fathers, don't give up. You are the vein in which the silver of your children are cast, according to Job chapter 28 verse 1. You are the vein in which the silver is cast. You are the mold in which you know, their, 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 their future is cast. They are the first ref reference point. Unless they get to a point where they also you know, you know, understand the word of God and break, break loose. But for a long time, you will influence them. So please don't forget, fathers are daring, they never give up, and they are selfless. And at this point, I want to entertain questions. Phone in. My phone line again is 0802-836-9033. If you want to phone in. But if you want to, you know, send on Twitter, at Olakomi Amao, you know, just hashtag father, fatherhood. Just hashtag father, father, fathering, you know, rather. You know, if you want to. Send and you can send via comments also, please. Comments, comments, send, send comments. Yes, thank you. Baba Jido Lushego, ah, Pastor Sheggs, thank you very much. Uh, Larry King, thank you. Uh, my wife also is online. Yeah, thank you, Benedicta, bless you. Uh, Pastor Ezekiel, thank you very much. You know, he said, I'm inspired by this message, I won't give up. Thank you very much. And Pastor Lushego, thank you. You said, you know, you know, you, you love the two nuggets, selflessness and being daring. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Please, I, I, I need all the comments and questions. Let it come in. You have questions, you have challenges, you know, and, and if you need prayers, you know, you, know, uh, you want us to pray together with you, you know, uh, you have some challenges, please send it, send it in. And don't forget also, I, I open my lines also for professional counseling. You know, you know that's it on, on the consulting angle if you want that please let me know you know uh i will send you the the email now that that you can you can uh send to you know i'll send you an email and if you send an email to me also we'll give you that free copy of our pdf book you know i i, I, I posted online uh the the email that you can send to you know uh, if you want to send to me i, I posted it online here lord bless you Okay, so if we have questions, please let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. You know, I put it, I'm still, I still place on offer the bonus of a free PDF book, Repentance in the Grave, you know, a possibility. You know, so uh, 
if you need all you need to do is send me an email and uh, we would we would uh, we would uh, send you a copy of the book okay you said uh, pastor Ezekiel you said what should a jobless man who is not able to provide for his family do he has tried but he did not get maybe a job and all that yes I said this may be situation you know you can remain jobless forever that's what what we're saying you know if you are jobless it's it, it's just an interim I was in that particular situation at one particular time also do you know what I did I, I had my master's degree I had you know I had my first son at, at that time okay and my wife was doing our own master's degree so you no know, it was like she has gone back to school and left her job and, and but I was the only breadwinner for the family you know and I'd, I was in between jobs do you know what I did with all my master's degree and all that I went to do a daily paid job carrying loads in a warehouse just to feed my family you know because I understood the scripture that says he that does not provide for his own household is worse than an infidel I want to be an example of a great father you must find you can always find something to do I've seen some fathers on the main road selling water bottled water you know hawking it on the road just to make ends win it may be in interim don't you are not ashamed to do anything to feed your family please and in that interim great wives also will be a great support to their husbands okay great wives will support their husbands at such times you know uh, so so it uh, and in some cases some wives are even richer than the, their husbands great but i'm saying yes the wife the husband at so in such instance must not be complacent that my wife has all the money and sit down in the house watching tv with his legs up 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 in the air no that's that's wrong fathering you must do everything you know uh uh possible to yourself to take care of your family even if your wife is richer or if your wife is helping it's primarily you know left to you to lead the way in that if you want to be a leader you must lead in that okay uh thank you very much pastor ezekiel any other question any other question any other question okay larry king thank you he said to be a great and exceptional father you must be selfless and never give up. yes very good uh well the discussion will continue because we just have about three more minutes don't forget you can email me new covenant church go on estate at gmail.com if you send an email for you know uh, asking for questions and comments you know i will also give you uh, a free book repentance in the grave and for all who think they have failed in terms of being great fathers i pray in the name of jesus this day that god will have mercy upon you you know for all who have repented as we've said you've repented you've seen yourself being very selfish you know uh, in, in in how you do your budget in how you take care of yourself you you put yourself before others in your home that is being selfless uh, selfish rather you must be selfless for your wife and for your children so if you are you have, you have displayed selfishness you know I, I want you to repent at this moment and for many that have repented I ask that mercy will prevail over you God will turn things around for you every ceiling has been blocked because of your self, self, selfishness god will cause mercy to prevail over judgment in jesus name and change will enter even your finances and your home in jesus name oh, yes and, and and for those who want to give your life to christ if you are out there just say with me lord jesus i receive today your perfect example of great fatherhood shown by giving your only begotten son jesus i accept your, Je your son jesus into my life as my lord and savior receive me write my name book of life and make me that example of yourself a great father thank you father in jesus name amen i congratulate you please send your email to me if you give your love to christ new covenant church go on estate at gmail.com and you want to ask other questions please link up also via that email we can continue the discussion also and likewise we'll have a watch party you know uh still on facebook 15 minutes to uh to uh, 15 minutes to two you know, for those who missed this session. So you can share with other people. The watch party will start, you know, uh, by 1.45. Watch party will start by 1.45. So please, you can, you can link up with me. And the Lord bless you. Watch, I'm, I'm typing it in now. Watch party will start by 1.45 p.m. So you can, you can still tell others to link up. Share the page and the Lord bless you. I say bye for now. Link up tomorrow again. Invite friends. 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. West African time.
Join me for the first edition of Fathering Series tomorrow afternoon. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord watch over you. It will be well with you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful occasion. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, everybody. Great to be here. Bye for now. Bye for now. And bye for now.